Hello everyone and thanks to be here. We are Yes We Hack, the Bed Bounty platform and today I'm here to talk about a tool that we have published recently. Every bug hunter knows how it can be hard to have a ready to go environment for a bug bounty in one click with the perfect setup to have all the right tools. Let me introduce you the pawn machine. It's a self-host pawning machine with a nice web interface. The goal of the pawn machine is to provide a cool environment for pen tester and bug hunters. To be the simplest as possible, the tool is a full docker embedded and you just need to build it with the docker compose file provided. Once started, you will be normally able to access to the web interface at the IP address of your server. Pawn machine allow to search Docker image directly from Docker Hub by the name. Once the Docker image is found, you can simply click on the button pull to start to pull this image on the pawn machine. You can also update an existing Docker image by clicking on the button update. It's only an interface on Docker. You can still use Docker in command line and get a hop out in the pawn machine. Pawn Machine try to do one-to-one -one mapping of traffic configuration. Pawn Machine use the Redis as database to store traffic. This allow you to update almost any settings without the need to restart traffic. By default, traffic will listen on the TCP port 80 and 443. With PowerDNS, you can create custom record, for example, from google.bi.tk to localhost. You can also use a Lua record, for example, with a DNS rebanding or zip.io. All action and events are recorded in the logs. If you think you missed something two days ago, just go on the logs tab and use the filters to find what you want. Just to show you how the pawn machine can be used, I will show you how to install Request Bean on it and have a full functional server in one minute. First, we create a new container. Give it a name and search for Request Bean. Once the image is found, we have the ability to add additional configuration, set environment variable, etc. Everything that is retrieved from the Docker is finished, so we are ready to start. We have just seen that the container is created and we can find it in the appropriate tab. Now we will expose this container to the internet with the help of traffic. We need to set port number and choose the domain to use. We select the network and click on connect. Pawn machine will automatically suggest a name and we can select the one we want. Now we can define a subdomain, for example requestbin.bi.tk and we also want to use HTTPS. We can now see a small summary and if all is good, we can click on the registration icon. We now have a request being installed on our server, which will be useful in case of server-side request forgery attack, for example. We hope you now have a clearer idea how the pawn machine can be very useful for pen testing and also for bug bounty. And we invite you to join the project on GitHub. Thanks for your attention and feel free to contact us on Twitter at YesWeHack. Hack the planet!